हेलो एवरी वन जे सी ई कनेक्ट वेलकम यू यू ऑल फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर आई बी सॉल्विंग अ प्रॉब्लम ऑन टेंशन डिजाइन ऑफ टेंशन मेंबर्स इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव बीन सॉल्व सिंगल एंगल कनेक्टेड टू द गसेट प्लेट सो सिंगल एंगल कनेक्टेड टू द गसेट प्लेट but in this particular lectures if double angles are given and connected opposite side of the gusset plate that is back to back so how to get the strength of the tension member here so this particular problem whatever i am solving here these problems are analysis problem means for the given section so what is the strength of the member we need to calculate here so this is the problem given the angle section given here as ISA that is two ISA seventy five by seventy five by six. So these two are connected uh, back to back on either side of the gusset plate that is opposite side of the gusset plate. And this is the arrangement of bolts given. This is the arrangement of bolts given. So there are uh, five numbers of bolts are being using to connect the angles to the gusset plate and uh, pitch is also given. That is a fifty and four number of pitches four into fifty. This is an edge distance is also given, and also the center of the bolt hole is given from the heel of the uh, angle. That is, it is given as a thirty five, and we need to calculate what is the tensile strength of the uh, angles or tensile tensile strength of the member here. so to calculate the tensile strength of the member as we know tens the tensile strength is the least of the following so they are the yield of gross area that is td we need to calculate strength due to yield of gross area then uh, strength due to rupture of critical section that is tdn then the strength due to block shear that is tdb so we need to calculate these three here Uh, as already we have been solved one problem the, that is a single angle connected to the gusset plate the same procedure here we need to follow the first one is we need to calculate the strength due to gross section yielding that is considering yielding of gross section area that is tdz so we have this formula in our uh, code that is is 800 2007 refer is 800 2007 Page number thirty-three, the same formula to be using here. Then you have to refer steel table. Uh, from the steel table, you will be getting the area of the section. Here I'll show you the that is a equal angle section. You have to refer that is ISA. Here you have to refer ISA seventy-five by seventy-five by six because here it is given seventy-five by seventy-five by six. Refer ISA seventy five by seventy five by six. The area given here is eleven point uh, sorry eight point six six. This is for a single angle. Even you can get double angle uh, in a steel table. You can refer double angle also. Here it is a double angle. Properties of a double angle. Properties of two equal angles. Uh, Back to back in steel table, you can refer double angle se sections also. Here, double angle. What is being given? Seventy five. Here, the section is there. Seventy five by seventy five. So, what is the section uh, thickness given here? Here, thickness given as six mm. Sorry, seventy five by seventy five by six. So, what is the uh, sectional area I have to take? So, here it is. Area is being given. This one. This is area column. Then six mm thickness. Then refer this one. How much is the area? Seventeen point three two. Directly you may get. Directly you may get seventeen point three two because angles provided back to back like this. Okay. Here C X is also marked here. Just refer. Or else you can take the single angle area. Single angle area. Here it is. Huh, this one. Single angle area. Seventy five by seventy five by six, and take the sectional area and multiply it by two. 
you'll get the same answer okay so from the steel table you refer this one so i am getting for a double angle 17.32 centimeter square or 1732 millimeter square so angle back to back so substitute this values in tdz you will be getting the answer as 393.64 kN directly so no need to multiply here by 2 because we have taken directly the double angle area only if you are taking a single angle area just you multiply whatever the answer you get you multiply it by 2 or you multiply area by 2 if you are taking a single angle area then considering a rupture that is a strength due to critical section uh, rupture again you have to refer IS 800 2007 page number 33 so in that page this formula is given TDN 0.9 ANC FU divided by gamma ML plus beta into AGU FY gamma ML so here I am multiplying it by 2 the reason is here double angle given so for a sing if it is a single angle no need to multiply by 2 since it is given a double angle you have to calculate strength of double angle so this formula is for one angle and when you multiply it by two then you will get the strength of two angles so here i have mentioned here uh, into two because for two angles because for two angles that is the change here okay this is a formula you know this one then calculate this a and c a z o and substitute in the formula what we get so we get here uh, ANC calculate ANC that is a connected leg area so we know how to calculate the connected leg area 75 minus 6 by 30 is thickness of half of the thickness minus 1 volt uh, hole so here you will be getting uh, this one this connected leg area this is a connected so one bolt you'll get here one bolt you need to deduct one bolt then yes. then calculate the gross area gross area 75 minus 6 by 2 into 6 432 millimeter square we get then calculate a beta you know how to calculate the beta i explained already in previous problem please refer that one so calculate beta here this is the beta formula and this figure is given in code book so this one this one so refer this figure from the code then w is 75 that is the uh, outstanding leg width bs is the shear leg w plus w i minus t then you get this one then lc is the distance from the first bolt hole to the last bolt hole that is 4 into 50 then substitute in the equation of beta you will get a beta this one this should be less than or equal to 1.44 or greater than 0.7 then substitute all the values in tdn equation so you will get uh, tdn so you will get the tdn then you don't forget to multiply it by 2 because uh, it is given double angle so that is a change uh, when you compare with the previous problem this one to multiply it by 2 similarly the next block shear strength you have to calculate you know this is tdb1 and tdb2 formula you are having so again this write these formulas and multiply it by 2 this is a change you have to multiply it by 2 because double angles then again you calculate avz avn then atz atn from the given uh, figure AVZ is the uh, shear area, that is shear area, gross shear area, AVN net shear area, ATZ the tension area, ATN the net tension area. Calculate these all and substitute in this equation, then TDB1 and TDB2 you will get. Then TDB will be the least of these two, then the block shear strength will be 387.4. Then the tensile strength will be what? Least of TDZ, TDN and TDB. So you will be finally getting 387.24 kN. So if double angle is given only you have to multiply by 2. That is a uh, uh, change uh, for the single angle and a double angle. Okay. Thank you.